So today, this one isn't a joke. This isn't funny this time. Today's been one fuck of a day. Um, they repossessed my RV, which is what I've been living in. Um, the long story behind it, I changed bank accounts back in December. And I try all the other uh, bills, everything else switched over, not a problem. Even our auto loan switched over, not a problem. Scotia Bank refused. They would not change. They said, no, no, you have to go through that, through the old bank. And I said, well, that account's not there anymore. Oh, well, you have to get it back. Well, I can't get it back. So I'm struggling trying to find a way to make my RV payment. So finally they said, well, here, let's make this payment because you're a little bit in arrears now. Okay, not a problem. $1,000. That'll get us caught up. Not a problem. Great. And that, so I did that again, tried repeatedly, which Scotia Bank denies, but I tried to, they focus on, oh, well, you were rude to our customer service one time. I've called a lot more than just one time. And that one time I was rude was after the fourth time I had called that day. Though they deny I had called at all that day. So anyways, finally got Somebody said, oh, well, you know, you're still in arrears a bit. Let's uh, do another thousand get cut. Okay, yeah, not a problem. Then we can get it all set up. Okay, great, not a problem. So I do that. No, no, we can't do that against company policy. You got to use the old one. Oh, no, we don't know what to do. You're in arrears. You got to bring up your arrears before we switch accounts, blah, 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 blah. It's like, well, you know, I've been trying to do this. It gets frustrating. I'm trying to do this constantly. And then their customer service which are in some of the most corrupt countries in the world, i.e. the Dominican Republic, Colombia, Mexico, Pakistan, East India. They actually, two, twice, their customer service personnel tried to get me to send the money to a fake, or to some account in Mumbai or whatever. It was Either way, it wasn't a Scotia Bank. It had nothing to do with Scotia Bank. So they tried to, their customer service tried to steal money from me so I keep trying and trying and trying I'm not getting anywhere <coughs> another girl comes on she says well let's set it up as a bill payment we can do this oh okay great not a problem and because I'm in arrears a bit so okay what I'll do it's supposed to be three something every month or every two weeks I'll put in 500 get caught up on the arrears and we're good so I start making the payments then all of a sudden, I get a phone call from a bailiff saying, well, we're going to re-repossess in your RV. And I go, what the hell? I've been making these payments. We've made payment arrangements. What's going on? Well, no, you haven't. You're in arrears. It's been forwarded to us. So I get on the horn with her boss and sit there and say, hey, listen, you know, this isn't right. Something's not right, right here. Something's wrong. Let's get this straightened out. Nope, nope, not even going to talk to you about it. Too bad. Either come up with the entire amount of money or you're out of there. Get lost. And she wouldn't even talk. And I'm not sure, but I think that's the same one that was there tonight. So anyways, okay, yep, not a problem. Uh, I'm trying to, I don't know what the frick to do. So I get a hold of my member of parliament. I get a hold of CTV. They said, here, here's a way to, do, to help deal with this. This is a number for complaints for Scotia Bank, which, of course, Scotia Bank doesn't advertise. So, okay, I call that number, lay out the complaint, say, hey, listen, all I'm trying to do is get the account switched so I can make my payment. Nope, nothing. Uh, they say, nope, you were ignorant to our customer service person. We tried multiple times to call you. There are multiple times, now just so you know, for record, and I do have proof of this, there are calls, which apparently are only a courtesy, they're not required to by law, apparently, I didn't know this, don't go through because their customer service is listed as spam and fraud. Surprise, surprise. You know, especially after they tried to steal two payments from me. So, yeah, can't really see, be surprised that they're listed as uh, spam and fraud. Well, we emailed you. I have never received an email about this loan from Scotia Bank. They won't confirm my email address, so I don't know if they even have the right email address, whether they got it wrong or something, whatever. So anyways, there's been do it. So I've been fighting. Then I went to, uh, I escalated the claim. 
Then I went to the ombudsman. The ombudsman this morning made the decision, yes, we agree, this is not right and everything else, but we can't force the bank to make the pay, take the payments. You're required by law to make the payments. They don't have to take the payment. This was something I thought was dealt with years ago with Wells Fargo, and they did the same damn shit to everybody in Canada that had an, uh, a mortgage through them. So anyways, I get a hold of... Uh, I called the RV place where I bought the RV, get a hold of them, say, what can we do? She says, well, you need to talk to the Scotia plan loans manager. Well, how? Oh, though, here's an 800 number. Give them a call. So I call the guy up and he says, yo, no, no, we can work with you. We'll work on this. We'll get this straightened out. As I said, it's already in collections. Oh, no, no, we're going to work with you. We're going to take the care of this. I'll get right back to you. And never heard back from him. I think that was just BS Scotiabank lying through their teeth again. This is what Scotiabank thinks of their customers. Apparently, Scotiabank um, doesn't like their customers, which looking at some of the branches and stuff like that isn't surprising. They're far and few between now. They look like shit. So I'm thinking Scotiabank's pretty corrupt, and they're proving it to be corrupt. So anyways... I get a phone call from my boss and from the RV place that, hey, there's somebody here trying to hook up to your RV. So I get, I go, I'm just parking my truck. I rush out there to see what the hell is going on. Sure, shit, shit, pardon my language. They're trying to get it. They've opened my RV. They've opened all the doors. They're throwing stuff around all over the place. Disconnecting stuff. They've cut my fifth wheel lock off the bloody thing. That's personal property. They don't have the right to do that. And then I says, well, what the hell? Oh, well, you were warned. I said, no, I wasn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we warned you. We warned you. This was going to happen. Blah, 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 blah. So I tried to come in. She shoves me backwards. I stumble down the stairs, get coming back up again. She goes to shove me again. This time I'm not letting her push me back. So I keep coming. I get inside. A lot of yelling ensues, obviously. Uh, a lot of cuss words on both sides. Um... I said, I'm going to go up to my bedroom. I'm getting my dad's ashes. Oh, no, you're not. You're not doing that right now. You cannot do that right now on that. I said, yes, I am. So I turned to go up the stairs. She goes and pushes me again. Again, I'm not moving. When she pushes, she falls backwards, trips over the stairs. You saw that. He assaulted me. It was assault. Call the police. He assaulted me. Call the police. I said, I'm going to go get my dad's ashes. She tried to block me again. And then I just kind of went, moved her side, went up the stairs. Didn't hit her, just kind of, just like, go stand over there, just like you would with a child, basically, because, like, she's, like, 100 pounds, and that, so she's pretty light, so I just move her aside, and I go upstairs, she starts yelling, get out of here, he's got guns, he's got guns, get out of here, call the police, he's got guns, I don't have any guns, because the police have taken them, about a year and a half, two years ago, so I have no guns, at least not right now. Most dangerous thing I got, lightsaber. So anyways, cops are called. They show up in mass. I get charged with assault. I'm the one that was assaulted. Okay? Like I said, she shoved me the second I tried to get in there. She continuously tried to shove me. She's grabbing at me. You know, she's grabbing my arm. She's trying to f force me out. Um... So when I went up to grab my dad's ashes, they all left. I locked them out and waited till the police come in. So I got arrested. I got charged. So Scotia Bank, this is going to be going a lot farther. I will be going to court. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, but this is not how you do business with people. You don't take their homes like this without any warning. You don't refuse payment when they've tried to pay you you don't just arbitrarily decide oh no we don't want his business anymore we're not going to accept payments we're going to take it to fuck with them <sighs> there's no way this should be legal or right it's not right in anybody's books i don't think <sighs>